Hi, and welcome to the ARM What Is program series. In each episode, we explore a tech topic to give you insight and perspective into some of today's hottest design and development trends. I'm Brian Fuller, Editor-in-Chief at ARM, and today we're going to find out what is Windows on ARM and why it's important to the future of computing. And to help us with that, I want to introduce David Whaley, Director of Strategic Partnerships with ARM's Developer Ecosystem Group. David worked to ensure performance, support, and optimization for key software and tools within the ecosystems of Google Android and Windows on ARM. He also helps drive ARM's developer recruitment efforts and streamlines the developer ecosystem for Windows on ARM. In his spare time, he enjoys all kinds of outdoor activities, including fly fishing, hiking, and spending as much time as possible with his beautiful family. Welcome, David. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, let's dive right in. What is Windows on ARM? Why is it important? Windows on ARM is a uh, is a is a platform um, that I think a lot of people are familiar with, but it's uh, it's basically from Microsoft. It's built on the ARM architecture. Um, it's been around now in its current form for, gosh, probably going on four or five years, um, and uh, I think we're seeing lots and lots of uh, of, of momentum and excitement around the, around it as a as a new compute platform. Which devices typically run Windows on ARM, and how does this differ from uh, traditional Windows devices? Well, so right now, there's uh, primarily uh, what you will find is you'll find laptops that are running uh, Windows on ARM. It's really just, uh, I guess the way to think of it is, is it's a, just another platform um, that that runs runs Windows. It doesn't really, doesn't really stand out. Um, and that's really the way sort of Microsoft wants it, is it's just Windows. And you will find that there are lots of native apps. There's usually a, a set of applications that you expect to run well on Windows. Um, you know, Windows off, you know, Microsoft Office, uh, Slack, all the browsers, those sorts of things. All of those are, are really today native. You know, actually, I'm doing this uh, this recording on a on a Windows on ARM laptop as well. Been using it now for going on almost two years, and uh, you know, you just don't see any any hiccups, any issues with them at all. What are the main advantages of Windows on ARM over traditional x86 or x64 systems? Um, actually, um, battery life um, is is huge. Not only do you get more time with the same size battery, but you can also then use a, a smaller battery. The thin and light designs are also a, a big advantage. But, you know, so thin, light, fanless designs. You'll see um, some of the Surface products from Microsoft are, are fantastic, um, thin, you know, convertible type designs. You'll see, uh, you know, other designs from other OEMs as well. Um, but, you know, you get... You get lots of performance. Um, performance is absolutely, you know, on par um, with with what you expect. For years, one of the watchwords in development was software compatibility in the PC space. How does software compatibility work with Windows on ARM? And are there any challenges for either users or developers? So we've embarked on a journey a number of years ago to get as many native apps as possible. And that really means getting the app developer ecosystem to where it needs to be. So um, Microsoft, about two years ago um, at their build conference, which is generally in the spring of the year, uh, introduced uh, you know, Microsoft uh, Visual Studio, um, .NET, basically all the tools that uh, Microsoft, you know, Microsoft's proprietary tools are available today. Um, we also create a, a, a team inside of the open source community um, uh, in the Lenaro organization to support a lot of the open source packages that might might be blocking uh, developers. Things like uh, Electron, Qt, Python, uh, maybe compilers like LLVM. All of those things were prioritized and worked on within Lenaro, and those are now supported. There's you know enough devices out there that are powerful enough to be development devices. You can build on build on ARM for ARM and test. Today we have major applications like WhatsApp, Affinity Designer, Dropbox, Spotify, and Firefox that have all been ported to run natively on ARM. So how does this benefit users, and what does it mean for developers considering porting their applications? So we have, I mean, we have some case studies with some of these, uh, uh, some of these ISVs, and um, you know they've think, you know they've done things like 
uh, reported metrics to us that are that are important to them. You know, load times, um, time to first availability of of uh, you know of some content. Those are things that are important to their users. Nobody wants to see this the you know the the spinning spinning cursor on their screen, and and that's really what native. Um, support really allows for. Um, it's just a better user experience. Let's fit you with some vision glasses for this next one. How do you see Windows on ARM evolving in the coming years? What impact do you think it's going to have on the future of mobile and desktop computing? Now, I'm, I'm going to put. I'm going to look backwards here a little bit. I mean, thinking you know, ten years ago, who would have thought that there would be, uh, you know, infrastructure based server ARM. CPUs out there, um, and we've proven that that the performance is there. I mean, it's it's that good. Um, so why not use them beyond mobile phones? Why not use them in laptops and just everyday compute? Uh, you know, the stuff. You know, the, the devices that people carry around under their arms all day. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're daily driver machines. Um, I think that battery efficiency, um, just the power efficiency, it's it's a fact um, that you know in this sort of power hungry world, it's going to become more and more important for having efficient devices, whether they be in a you know in a in a server farm or on on your desktop. Um, I think that uh, uh, the architecture is well positioned um, to continue to grow, uh, continue to to provide the performance that uh, that that everybody needs. Well. Thanks so much, David. That's a fantastic perspective on an exciting development in the world of computing. Now, check out all our other What Is episodes here and be sure to subscribe to this channel because we'll be adding more as the year progresses. Thanks for watching.